Hi everyone, welcome back to your part tutorials. So today we're going to talk about how to kill the pussy. So generally what we do is we just use the directly the uh, kill process activity and put uh, as a process name here. So what we do we just uh, we should check the all the processes that it's so the by the process that we want to kill is first we have to check whether it's uh, yeah, it's running or not. So for that I have used cat process activities and just putting all the processes here in the output cat all running process. Yeah. So this is a variable type connection process. You can create a control key, it automatically brings here. Now second assign actually I've just taken and just created one cat process and this is the process variable type is process so you can just directly Browse and write the process. This one system your diagnostic. Just click here and click OK. Now I've just filtered, so I've created R1 argument with the in process name. So this I'm just going to pass uh, the value from the invoke code. So from the invoke workflow file. So first uh, let me let me show you that syntax so this is the code so this is the in process name that I uh, this uh, that I'm going to pass it from the invoke workflow so it is going to get the value here and just filter whether so if there's if for example if I, I've just opened the internet explorer and I'll just open the Excel file it means to say that so if I'm going to check whether inter Internet Explorer is open or not then I'm going to pass that I so I've just created another XAML file and I've just used the invoke workflow activity invoke So this one. So this invoke file is just used here, and just imported arguments, and just kill I explorer. Second, I just want to kill Excel. Then I'll just and then I'll use this, and this I've given the value Excel. So I have, I'm just going to kill the two things into an explorer, and second is the Excel file. Now. Just coming back to the skin process. So I've used F condition. If the if it is not going to find anything is and if it's not fine that internet explorer is open the process or not, then it is going to pass from it here. And if you know that yeah there is uh, some that process is currently running, then it will come here and then I'm going to kill this process and I'll use the get process the process name. So I'm going to run this code and let me see what will happen. Yes, it just closed both the Internet Explorer and the Excel file perfectly. So if I'm going to run this code again, so it is not going to find with uh, neither the Internet Explorer nor that Excel files. So with no change. So so I find that this is the best way for us to check the, whether the process are running or not. If it's running, you can close it. So I hope you just like my videos. Comment below if you have just any problem or just find any difficulty for getting all the points. Uh, thanks, thanks everyone. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel for more videos.